Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. <laughs> if we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Dr. Brooklyn Storm. I'm the admin of our beautiful group, Australian Counselors Connect in Private Practice Online. <laughs> so what I want to talk with you about quickly today in our bite-sized training is where and how to find content for your marketing. So it doesn't matter if you're marketing on social media, email, YouTube, podcasting, all the things, your website, your blog, you need content. Um, and here's the thing, your content really needs to do a few things. First of all, it needs to be aligned with the values that you hold as a practitioner, as a counsellor, and that your private practice stands for. Um, it needs to really resonate and speak to your dream client. So if you're thinking of sharing somebody else's blog post, ask yourself, is this, am I sharing it because it's interesting to me or is this something that's going to be interesting and helpful and valuable to my perfect for my practice client? So take time to check in about what you're going to post. Now, people say to me, oh, my gosh, you post so much stuff. Like today I published a, a podcast, a YouTube video. I'm doing this. Um, there were posts that went up in the groups, all of that sort of jazz. But how do I come up with it is very, very easy. All I do is I listen to what my community is talking about. I feel like I'm very tuned in. I want to know. I want to listen. I want to understand what everybody's needing. And I use that and I respond to that. So for those of you who are into human design, one of my things is um, I'm a responder. I like to respond to things. Um, and so my content is what I call responsive. So it's very easy for me to come up with things because I'm simply responding to a need that's there. Um, one of the ways that you can find content for your um, marketing is to get in tune with your audience and really listen. What are the themes? What are the questions people are asking? Um, what are the resources they're looking for? Um, what are the beliefs that they have or they don't have? What are the behaviours that they're engaging in that are kind of holding them back from getting to where they want to be? Really allowing yourself to tune into that um, will help you. The content really creates itself. Um, the other thing is if you're already working with clients, be reflective at the end of the day, um, you know, have a little, you know, notepad thing on your phone or on your computer and just brain dump, you know, three or four or five um, things or, or topics or themes that you've noticed evolving or emerging in the practice that day or themes that you're seeing emerging in the practice over the last few weeks. Um, themes are always a really great way for you to keep your finger on the pulse and make sure that you're providing content that's consumable, um, that's wanted, that's sought after by your perfect for your practice clients, okay? The other thing too is um, if it makes it easier for you, create a little posting schedule. Um, you know now that every Monday, I do welcome posts in my group. That's kind of like my Monday posting schedule. Monday is my welcome to my world. Um, good day. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays are my podcasting days. Um, and then I share those podcasts out with the world on social media and, and everywhere then. Um, Saturdays is also Friday, Saturday is also my email day. But you can think about different days that you want to share different information. Um, so that can be through different formats, like I've just shared with you there, or it could be different types of information. So maybe you want to have Mondays as a day where you share a GIF. Maybe you want to have Tuesdays as a day where you document something you're doing behind the scenes. Maybe it's a picture of your room that you practice in, or maybe it's a picture of the software that you use, or maybe it's a picture of your membership badge or maybe it's a picture of your degree or your qualification or something like that so maybe Tuesday is kind of that documenting behind the scenes you know getting ready for my first client type of post maybe Wednesday is a tip but make sure it's a tip that is actually going to be useful and valuable for them don't just do something general like 
box breathing or you know go for a walk or something like that make your tip something really practical and juicy that they can implement straight away and get a result from so really think about the quality of the tips that you're putting out there and do not be afraid to share your best stuff um i share my best stuff all the time and it's one of the ways that i grow my group my groups plural um maybe thursday you want to do something that's more sort of around the education space so maybe um you want thursdays to be a little bit of an intro to a therapeutic modality you use or what they can expect when they come and see you for counseling or education around the difference between different types of practitioners um do you know what I mean? So you could have Thursdays as your sort of education post. And then maybe you have Fridays as your come and work with me post, you know. So you're inviting people to connect with you, um, you know, every single Friday. And they get used to that. And they expect to see that invitation come up. And they come to rely on it and trust it. So there are lots of different ways you can structure how you put the content out. Um, and there are lots of different clues around you if you open your eyes and you tune in to what's coming through the business, what's coming through the inquiries, what's coming through the practice, the emerging themes, the emerging trends, and just listen, listen to some of the common questions that are being asked in your community. Now, the last tip that I have for you as well is um, you can also find out um, some great ideas for content when you go into Google because you search into Google and it has an autocorrect feature or an autocomplete feature and so just jump in there you will start to type something for you know whatever it is your your clients dealing with the dream niche whatever and then it will automatically start to complete the sentence for you so take some of those they're what's hot at the moment in your niche in your field with your clients so take those and create content based on those even if it's responsive Okay, so I hope this was really helpful. I have to go now and teach a quick little workshop on how to use Canva uh, for my clients and demand members. I hope that you all have a really happy week, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.